Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Crimson here bringing you guys a brand new video. Um, in this video I'm gonna be talking or I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can set up uh, Streamlabs with uh, OBS so that whenever you get notifications on Twitch, like when someone follows you, donations and all that sort of stuff, it will appear on your stream and uh, basically how you can put it on OBS. So before we go ahead and, and get started with that, I'm gonna talk really quick. I should, I'm, or I'm gonna try putting a little, uh, a little thing on the screen right now so that it tells you where you guys can skip forward to into the tutorial uh, so you guys don't have to watch this if you guys want to watch it by all means go ahead but let's go ahead and get right into the little talking sesh so first of all um, I know I've said this a couple of times or many times that I'm gonna switch like what I upload on my channel and I just want to clear clarify it again that I am gonna be switching everything on my channel it's no longer gonna be COD uh, I might upload COD once a fucking year or something or actually like I'll, up I'll, up I'll upload COD when I want to but other than that, I'm on the internet 24-7, so I want to do, like, top 5 videos, like, like, uh, this and that, or, like, uh, that makes no sense. Like, top 5s, like, basically, like, what's trending online, like, everything, because it's basically what I do and I love, like, seeing that. So, I might as well just share it with you guys, and, uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy it, so that you guys, if you, if you are here from some, for something else, like, I'm going to try incorporating everything into my YouTube channel. So, if you're a COD player, there'll be a little bit of that. If you're... I don't know some other like you want to see top fives like you'll you'll come to my channel for that everything I just want to have my channel so that everybody can enjoy it and it won't be just one strict thing which is Call of Duty which is really boring at this time of of year Call of Duty is kind of dying out so I'm not gonna go forward with that as much but uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial right now so for this tutorial like I said I was gonna teach you guys how to put Streamlabs connected with OBS so that your notifications come on come up on Twitch so I'm going to go ahead and leave the, the website link in the description below so you guys can just go click on it and it'll take you to this exact website. Uh, reminder, if this video does stay up on my channel for a while, like uh, two years or three years from now or even, I don't know, months, they might change the website. So uh, just try go just try figuring, figuring it out as, as you go because uh, I've seen many tutorials where people go where they leave descriptions to sort of things and they do tutorials and the page is completely different and it just looks like, like it really... It bugs me sometimes that the page is different and like I really can't go with how uh, the tutorial is going. But yeah, with that out of the way, um, you're gonna go ahead and click on log in to get started, or you can click this. I usually click this though. So when you click that, it's gonna take you. Well, for me, I'm already logged into my uh, Twitch, so it's gonna log you in. It's gonna log you into whatever um, uh, account you have on there. There's four different accounts you can log into twitch youtube facebook and i don't know uh what the fourth one is but it's like a little x i'm pretty sure no one uses it but uh for so basically before you log in it's gonna ask you to put in your uh your youtube email and password i believe so so that it'll it'll log into your uh to your youtube and stuff so that you can uh get the notifications on there and before Twi uh streamlabs didn't have uh the alerts for youtube so that's really cool that they implemented that it was strictly just twitch and now i've seen that in a couple months it's progressed and really uh pushed its limit to like other platforms so that you can you know you can sort of venture out into them but uh so yeah so first things first you're gonna want to go over to where it says uh widgets i think that's how you pronounce that and go to alert box i'll i'll go through the other ones right here really quick but for first for the first one you're gonna go over to alert box now for the alert box obviously you're gonna have your uh follow subscription donations hosting and bits before you go on to streaming and let's say you want to see how things will look out if you want to change anything you uh you're gonna want to click on one of these buttons to test it it should when you uh when you click this and you click launch it should open up a page like this and then test the follow let's see if it did it Mm, I don't think it did it, but uh, I'll explain another way how to do it in just a moment. Okay, so um, basically this right here, we're going to leave it for how it is right now. And you're going to want to scroll all the way down to where you find general settings. So on here, you're going to find follow, subscription, donations, host, and bits. Now, uh, bits, it's, it's not too often uh, when you're a small streamer that you get those or host, but donations or subscriptions. Obviously, when you're, when you're a smaller uh, streamer, you're not going to get much of those. So we're going to focus on follows as our priority for this video. So you're going to put on your follow alerts. You're going to want to click enabled, obviously, or else you won't get the alerts. And for the layout, it's really up to you, depending on how you're, uh, you want to have it. When I didn't have a design, which this is my design. When someone follows me, this pops up on screen. I already have it. I already did it on Photoshop where it says, thank you for the follow. 
and then their name appears right here so i i have this one because if i put this one this uh will appear up here the the picture will appear on top and their name will appear on the bottom so you know and that's not how the design i made for it was built so you know obviously the name is supposed to go here and not at the bottom so that's why i chose that one but again it's all up to how you make the design or how or the one you choose from as the default default so um for the alert animation, I have mine's is as, as a fade in and fade out, so that it fades in slowly and then it fades back out when the follow uh, the follow notification is done. For the message template, I just leave mine's like this as uh, the little brackets name bracket. It's uh, as default. It will come with like uh, with another thing that says uh, blah blah. So and so is uh, now following the stream. It says the name and then it says now is now following the stream. When I, since I already have on my design, it's saying thank, thanks for the follow. I just have to put the name and it appears as thanks for the follow and the name. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I like it. I like it that way more. And uh, it goes along with my colors on my channel, which are like red and black for the overlays and stuff like that. So that's how I perf I prefer to have it. But if you don't have time to make your own design, you can go ahead and go over to, um, right here on image and it says change media. You're going to click on change media and as you can see I have mine uploaded but you can come all the way down to where it says stock files click on images and you have a variety of I don't know how to say that word a bunch to choose from um you have like all of these you have basically have a shit ton to choose from I usually had a uh, this one the little zombie one but you know you have a, a whole bunch to choose from here and then uh if you scroll to the top you have these where the names will appear on the little banners which is pretty cool i guess and then uh keep in mind though these um since they do have this little design i believe the one you like for the ones that are just animated uh cartoons like these like all of these right here i think you're gonna want to have to go with this one or this one because what it's gonna do is the image is gonna appear on top and then the text saying whatever you whatever you have it to to say on here will appear at the bottom where it says text but if you have it on here i believe the picture will be cramped up i'm not sure you can try it like uh i will show you how you can test it out in just a moment but uh i would recommend these two for uh for it to look better and then for the sound basically the sound is just whenever you get notified it, it, it'll make like a little ding sound or whatever you have it to i personally have mine off because when i'm playing call of duty and it notifies me it's really annoying especially if i'm playing like uh for money or you know just playing any game and you're getting a bunch of followers i would recommend having it off because it is going to be notifying you every single second you get a follow with that noise but if you have it off it'll just appear on the screen for your viewers and not for you obviously but the sound will appear on your headset when you get followed if you have it on so as so, I have mine's off. You have uh, a bunch to choose from here. Let's, let's just go ahead and click on one. Let's, uh... That's the common one that everybody uses. So, uh, you know, I haven't heard this that one, but this one is the common one everybody uses. And then I, I had my own sound here that I cut out on Sony Vegas and I put it on, but um, I'm not going to use it. It gets really annoying, so I just decided to take that off, and that's where I'm standing with things. And then here is really up to your preferences on how uh, high the volume is, you know, how long you want the, the thing to uh, show up. And uh, yeah, and then if you go over to subscriptions, this is the same thing as the other one. You just have to fix them exactly as the follow. So just retrace your steps and put in whatever you did on the follow over to the subscription, donations, hosting, and bits. Or I think host is a little bit different. But for the subscription, same exact thing. Like I said, it says the brackets name just subscribed. Welcome to the I have mines as Gunny Fam, which it's not that no more. But I'm just gonna leave it, and uh, it shows this little zombie walking, and it says it at the bottom. You know everything like like the other one. But um, so with that all being set up, now it's time for you to move your uh, your your alert box over to OBS, and it's super simple to do that. All you're gonna have to do is. We're going to go up to the top where it says widget URL and you're going to want to uh, copy copy this and go over to your OBS. Now that you're oh my OBS is over here. Now that you're at your OBS, you're going to want to go I deleted mine so I I can remake it. So you're going to want to go over to sources and click on this plus thing. Click on it and go to where it says browser browser source. Click okay and I I'll just name mine as alert alert box AB whatever. Click okay and where it says url 
it should say uh, www.obsproject.com just go ahead and delete that and paste in your your stream uh the streamlabs url and if you get this don't worry it'll go away as soon as you click ok and boom it goes away and you can just uh, set it to however you want now like i said you can test uh the whole uh, the the stream the streamlabs like notifications all you're gonna have to do for that is go back to the page and let's say you want to uh, test a follow click test follow and boom it appears right here it says thank you for the follow v crims out that's that's as simple as that guys and then you can obviously play around with the image i would i would have it a little bit smaller because obviously if it's too big then your viewers might not see what you're doing on screen uh some people like to put it up here like really thin it appears like up here i just have mines towards the side or something like that because uh people might want to see like my because i have my overlay up here so you know it'll block my overlay and uh on the left side there's really not much so um yeah guys i think that's it for this tutorial if you guys did enjoy it um oh and one reminder that's um as you can see these whenever you put like um the alert box make sure it's not under any any uh make sure it's not under your your uh your capture thing so if it's under here if it's under whatever you're using to capture it, it will not appear on screen as I'll show you right now. So we're going to go ahead and test the follow and boom, it does not appear. So make sure it's always above the capture device thing uh, and not on the bottom of it or else it will not appear. It will not appear on your screen at all. I was dealing with this problem for uh, several, um, several weeks, I think, until I finally saw that. But uh, yeah, I have more stuff added like event list. Like I said, always on top, never on bottom. You're gonna have it right here, and then it tells you all the lists. You know, Dokic, the homie, he donated five dollars in my last stream. He's actually donated like ten dollars overall, so that's really uh, supportive. And um, you know, it follows the, the follows you get. All of them appear here. I preferably like having this now instead of the little uh, alert box because it, it makes it more like um, professional and it looks so much more nice. So uh, for that, it's the same thing like like we did. You just go to event list, and uh, you just you know the you do the same thing you plug it into your obs and uh you just mess around with the settings guys but if you guys want to see a tutorial on how uh to do that i can go ahead and show you guys uh but as of right now guys that's been it i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like comment and subscribe and uh any more tutorials you guys want to see on any other subject i can do audacity photoshop obs uh anything and anything like that i'll leave it in the comment section or just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and that's been it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.